Welcome back to Farallon NZ, and this is a 2018 update. So lately I've been focusing most of my hobby interest on NVR systems and IP cameras. As you can see here, I now have six of them set up around the property. I do intend to get a few more, but honestly this is more than sufficient for now. So the screen you're looking at now is the sub-monitor, so this is my main monitor for my NVR. And here we have my monitor for like computer use, YouTube, etc. And at the moment it's running a web client. And later on I will show you some playback during the day. Because on this side you can see it's night time. I'm working full time now. I'm officially a fire alarm technician. So I'm working pretty much all the time installing and testing fire alarm systems. Also in another update when I get a bit of time. I will go over my new fire alarm setup and also my Concepts security system. Uh, Concepts quite a big brand in New Zealand, we use them in a lot of industri uh, industrial areas. They're not so common anymore, uh, we more tend to use Gallagher systems, but these are quite cool. Um, and I'm also running automation on it. So if we go into this easy menu, you can see I've got things like bedroom fan, which I can turn on. And a lot of other things like front deck light. And they're all automated on sensors. Uh, but that's a video for another time. Tonight we'll be focusing on the NVR setup. Okay, so I think I'll take you outside and we'll have a look at some of the cameras. Uh, what model they are. But honestly I can't recite them off by heart. Uh, but we'll go out and have a look at that now. So starting off, this is the camera called Barbecue Camera, um, which just kind of catches this area here. This is a 4 megapixel Hikvision camera. All of these cameras are Hikvision. Uh, I'm quite fond of them. I haven't had any trouble so far. Apart from the fact that these are dome cameras, so if you get rain hitting them and you don't clean them, the infrared lamps will interfere with the view. So I'll go around the other side of the house now. And you can see another one here. This camera is called the backyard camera, and this covers all of this area here. And also, a camera I forgot to mention is in my bedroom. And it's a PTC camera. This isn't set up properly, it's just sitting there for now. I don't even know if I want it in my bedroom, because honestly it's a bit of a privacy risk. Um, but yeah, it's an indoor camera. Unfortunately, when I was buying it, I wasn't aware that it was an indoor camera. So I tried using it outdoor, but as you can see, the, uh, it, it kind of gets filled with debris. And if rain did hit it, it has the potential of blowing it up. So that's not good. At the moment, it's running on Wi-Fi, uh, which is not ideal. Honestly, Wi-Fi is hopeless. Uh, even if you've got a good range coverage, it does run into a few issues. Maybe not with other brands of cameras, but for Hikvision I've found that wireless is not the way to go. Um, even if you have limited access when you're installing cameras, I would recommend a wired connection. There has to be a way to get wires to it somehow. Um, yeah. Right, we'll continue with the tour outside. Let's go around the corner here. We have another Hook Vision 4 megapixel dome. So I've got three of these and two other variations. This one is called the driveway cam rear, and that sees pretty much what you're seeing now. Up the front here, we have a Hook Vision, they call it the hockey puck cam, and I can see why because it kind of resembles a hockey puck. So this is a mini dome. Um, it's still really good. I haven't had any issues with them, apart from I bought them second hand and they have scratches on the lens and that kind of affects the night vision. This one is called driveway mid and it pretty much sees this gate area here. Moving on to the last camera of the system, uh, this one is running conduit, so conduit all the way along there. Quite pleased with my job, it's quite professional, uh, so it runs down onto the ground there. And I've got it running. I cut some chases out. And it goes under the house. So 
also conduit running along the fence line. And this is it mounted on the fence. I decided to mount it on the fence because the bracket for it cost about $100 and it's honestly not worth the money. So this camera here is called Driveway Front and it captures the letterbox as well as the start of the driveway. Pretty much what you're seeing now. Right. We'll go back inside and I'll show you the playback side. <clears throat> also eventually I want a camera down this alleyway. Um, just looking down here. And another one up here, or on a bracket there, looking at the laundry. Also, going back to the concept system quickly, you'll see that this is an automated light on a UFO PIR, so it automatically turns on when I walk in the heat sensor there for the fire alarm side and a call point there as well as the sounder um, but as I said earlier we will go into the concept system a bit later in a different tour uh, but this is one of the touch screens you can also control things from it like my fan bathroom lights shed lights shed power etc etc there's quite a lot of automation zones um, but as I said again we won't go too in depth in it in this video Okay. This is my access control system. It's been updated. It's biometric now. And also an updated maglock. It's a proper branded as a Aboli, I think it is. I can't really pronounce it that well. Um, yeah. So on the playback side of things, I'll show you some footage of me walking home. I might insert a couple of clips of uh, the actual screen capture instead of on a camera so you can get a better idea of the quality of Hick Vision products. As I said, I'm quite fond of these products. Um, yeah. So this is all going through NVR. Uh, it's in the roof somewhere undisclosed and it would take a lot of effort to remove it. That's just to prevent you know, the theft of the recording device. All these cameras are also cloud connected, so any footage for the day, I think it captures up to about seven days, and that's all recorded on the cloud. So if your NVR did get stolen, then you've still got the option to view that footage online. So it's pretty much a foolproof system. So if someone was to try burglar the place and they did find the NVR, you've still got the footage of them breaking in. And as I said, these most of these cameras are four megapixel. So you get a lot of resolution, and even if they have a facial mask on, you can still identify a lot of um, like identifying features. Right, so I'll start the playback now. And as I said, I might, instead of looking at the TV, I might insert a couple of clips of the actual screen capture. Uh, but we'll play this now. I have noticed the Hick Connect uh, seems to use a lot of CPU. My CPU is running at about 98%, but in saying that, I have an i3 and it's about four years old, so that's acceptable. Okay, I'll put the camera down because there's a number plate. Um, number plates are very easy to identify on these camera systems. And there's me checking the mail. So as you can see, images are very clear, um, very easy to identify who's coming up compared to 700 TV line, etc. So I'm quite pleased with these overall. I might insert, as I said, some clips of the actual screen capture to give you a better idea of quality, 
but I think that pretty much sums it up for this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.